This has to be the scariest defense in high school football. Bishop Gorman High School out of Las Vegas, Nevada has single-handedly the most stacked and terrifying secondary in all of high school football. And so today I'm gonna introduce you guys to the most terrifying secondary in all of high school football. So be sure to leave this video a like, comment down below some other schools that you might want me to take a look at their offense or their defense. And be sure to leave this video a like, hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications. Let's jump straight into Bishop Gorman's terrifying secondary. Three, two, one. The first player that we're gonna be taking a look at in Bishop Gorman's terrifying secondary is three-star Hawaii commit and three-star corner Elijah Palmer. Showing off the speed, showing off he's, he's, he's more than just a corner. Hey, literally all of these guys are three stars or better and except for what, I think two of them? Yeah, yeah, only, or actually only one of them is not, has not picked the school yet but for literally everybody in your secondary to have an offer and be ranked is nuts this is literally the no fly zone of high school football and uh bink yup closing on that let's go closing on that oh a little corner blitz oh pff, nope you didn't you didn't even check out of it yeah come here let's go Yeah, Elijah Palmer, when yo, when you let him just go hunting after the quarterback, he's out there. He's got some serious speed. Oh, great job of just that's that's just phenomenal coverage right there. Again, very patient. And you know, all these guys at Bishop Gorman, Bishop Gorman is a factory for D1 football players. Like literally, they're so well coached. Oh, let's go. Again, just breaking that up. Where are you going? Also on the Gale secondary is three-star corner Jeremiah Vassell. Set a run through him! Yeah! Let him know! Ran straight through him, knocked the ball out and everything! Yeah! Okay! Like I said, terrifying secondary. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, get hands on him early. And just run him out of bounds. Literally, just break that up. No fly zone. If I remember correctly, the Bishop Gorman Gales have 15 interceptions on the season. Oh, she just read that perfectly. Way to break that up. Nope, you ain't getting inside. Just lock him up. Literally lock him up. Homie, homie literally lost yards. He was he was supposed to <laughs> He literally lost yards trying to get a block down field. That's crazy. Again, just a very instinctual corner. Like, you can just see how fluid he is just getting in and out of his breaks. Looks back early. Break it up. Hey, he came down with it. It was just out of bounds. They're going to get through the block. Great tackle. Yeah, Jeremiah Vassell, this kid is cold. Hey, he's still he's still up in, in the college recruiting game. This is, a, this is what I like to call a value pick. This is one of those guys may not be super, super highly ranked. And he's probably not going up against every single team's number one wide receiver just with how much talent there is in this secondary. But this is one of those guys, you get him in the right system and you give him a chance, it, I can already tell his technique and his just tenacity overall is gonna make him a phenomenal college corner. And another person that the Gales have absolutely giving every single wide receiver they go up against nightmares is three-star LSU commit Jeremiah Hughes. Oh bro, these guys are terrifying. <laughs> Yo, homie died right there. This is like that Reggie Bush hit. It was just blink. Oh my lord. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. You, I know you feeling that. LSU commit. Hey, undercut that. Break that up. Where you going? Literal no fly zone. Guys, these are, these are the three corners that are the lowest ranked. They still got two more guys who are higher ranked than this. Oh yeah, like literally, you are not getting anything off on on the Bishop Gordon Gales. Like they have one of the best secondaries in the entire country. No, they have the best secondary in the entire country. There, there is no team that has this much concentrated talent in the secondary. I've looked. There's no other team. There's no team where everybody on the team that, that's in the secondary has is starred and offered. Yeah, Jeremiah Hughes, this this guy, he is a, again, all, all these guys are just technically sound, physical. Man, if he would've came down with that, that was about to be crazy. The Literally, Bishop Gorman, they do such a phenomenal job of just coaching these guys up and getting them ready for the next level. 
just break that up. Literally, like, literally, like, the, the windows that these quarterbacks have to throw into just to get the pass off is insane. Again, coming down with some speed. Yeah, all these guys are physical. All these guys can tackle. They can play man. They can play zone. All, every single one of these DBs are so well coached. And if all of these three-star DBs wasn't doing it for you, well, let me introduce you to the Gales' four-star safety and Oregon Duck commit, Cody DeCombra. Again, another dude who has no problem running through a face mask. The Gales have to be one of the most physical teams in all of high school football. They can cover. They, they, they got it all. They simply got it all. So they got three three-star corners, a, a four-star safety, and then th this is the second highest guy that they got on their defense. They got a guy who's ranked even higher. Again, it's that physicality. Like, they just flat out have no problems running through Facebook. Wait a high point that! Just run through them, keep them legs driving. Again, like, all these, like, all of these players are so technically sound. They're so proficient at what they're doing. I'm telling y'all. Hey, if you're, if you're a college coach, and you should already know this, if you want some quality players, just go to look at Bishop Gorman. I didn't realize that they had this many in this the secondary alone, but they got them. And the captain of the Bishop Gorman Gale secondary is none other than their four-star Georgia commit corner, Justin Rett. This dude, flat out lockdown machine. He is on these wide receivers like paint is on a wall. He gives receivers no room to breathe. And he's the guy that all the other guys, you know, they do a phenomenal job of covering their guy. Justin Red is the guy who gets wide receiver one every single week. Again, just technically sound. He's got he's got it all. Like the like every single you could just take any one of the Gales defensive defensive backs, and they all are gonna just be able to lock up your best receiver. Where are you going? Just wait, lock him up to get him out of here. Again, physical. No weaknesses. They they all got it. They all are healed. Literally, I think that all these guys would be ranked as four star or, or better. But because there's so much talent on the field, it's just hard to see. Like, okay, are you going up against each team's number one? Are you going up against like you know? Are, are you just getting like really weak competition? Like, what's going on? Like, all these guys are so technically sound. I would I would have no problem putting all these guys as four star guys. So that is the scariest secondary in all of high school football, and it's coming from the Bishop Gorman Gales defense. All of these guys are ridiculously talented DBs. They can all cover, they're all physical. They all have great hip fluidity, being able to get in and out of their back pedal. They all are aggressive. Like there is there are very few weaknesses. The only thing that is gonna be a knock on them is just, just you can't every team can't have four or five wide receiver ones. So somebody's gonna be covering a wide receiver two, somebody's gonna be covering a wide receiver three, and so it's just gonna hurt the tape a little bit. But all overall, all these guys are phenomenal players, obviously, with all of them going to quality schools. And then my guy, Jeremiah Vassell, he's going to find he, my yeah, Jeremiah Vassell, he's going to find a home somewhere and he's going to be somewhere very nice. But I want to hear from y'all. Comment down below. First off, who is your favorite DB out of all the guys that we just covered? And comment down below just how terrifying is Bishop Gorman's defense? Be sure to leave this video a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. We're on the road to 300,000 subscribers. And I want you guys to be a part of that. And with that being said, I love and appreciate all you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.